Hi everyone, I'm Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing and I'm doing something a little bit different today for my video. I'm actually responding directly to a client's question on YouTube and how to be able to share a playlist. Now, in this case, the question comes from Jasmine at Las Vegas Real Estate Radio and I'm going to put a link to their channel in the description as a shout out. It's a very uh, good educational channel on Las Vegas real estate and all things real estate. But anyway, take a look at my screen right now and you can see uh, Jasmine sent me this as an example and this is how YouTube used to be able to handle uh, sharing of a playlist. So if you wanted to share a playlist, you used to be able to go and share it and choose an email option and then send the playlist and, and it would arrive at your email recipient looking like this. Well, um, YouTube has made it much more difficult to do than in the past. Um, and I'm going to walk you through a way that you can have some sharing options, but it's a little problematic. One of the things that I've noticed in my business and, and in our agency work is there's a lot of quality control problems with different Google properties. Uh, for example, Google My Business has all sorts of quality control problems with their interface. Now I'm starting, starting to see it with YouTube as well. Let me uh, illustrate this. And, and it may be just a problem for today. It's in the nature of the beast. Some of these things are ephemeral. But I'm going to go over here to um, just to YouTube, and I'm going to log into the Horizon Web Marketing YouTube channel. So if you click over here, you'll notice that typically you'll have now, they'll default to YouTube Studio Beta. Um, if you've set your preferences for Creator Studio, that's fine because what we need to do, we're going to have to do in YouTube's old interface, which is still live, which they call Creator Studio. So here we are at YouTube Studio Beta. This is basically their new way to manage videos. You notice over here, if you click on other features, it says until the feature, all the features are built, and then look at all these features that are not in YouTube Studio Beta. One of those is playlists. So what we're going to do is drop down over here on the left. You see where it says Creator Studio Classic. We're going to click on that. Google always wants to know why we're leaving, why we are leaving and going over to Creator Studio. I'm so sick of filling this out that I just skip it anymore uh, because for half the things I want to do, I have to go to Creator Studio. All right, once we go to Creator Studio, we're going to click on Video Manager over here at the left. We'll let that drop down. And one of the choices is Playlists. So I'm going to select Playlists. And here are the various playlists we have in our channel. I'm going to pick the first one here as an illustration. It's a very short playlist, just three videos on Google Search Console. If you want to know about Google Search Console, by the way, hint, hint, this is a great playlist to watch through. All right, so let's, uh, once we take a look at that, uh, we can't do anything to share this playlist from here, so we're going to click on Edit. And you probably have guessed by now, this is to share a playlist that you have access to, not a playlist of someone else. So once we've done that, then we're going to be able to see that there's a share button here. So we click on the share button, and we've got three choices, share, embed, and email. Now, email is the option that uh, Jasmine really wanted to be, make use of. Um, I just tested this, and this here's where the quality control problems come in. Um, I sent a playlist as a test to two different email accounts, one in Gmail, one where the recipient was in Gmail, and the other where the recipient was Outlook Exchange. Neither of those emails ever showed up at their destination. Um, I'm not going to wait and tomorrow test it. Maybe when you do it, you'll find that it's working for me. As of today, August 27, 2019, it is not working. So let's go over to the embed option. When we have this embed option, now this is not going to be uh, useful for an email because it's going to be something that you would, where you would embed your playlist on your website. However, if you have a blog, if you have a website, and you do want to embed your playlist, then this is very handy because it gives you the code if you click like I just did, um, I probably should have explained, I clicked on show more, 
and on show more then you have a few different um, controls as far as size whether or not you're showing the player controls and so forth and so basically you can copy that code put it into your blog but you can't really copy that code and put it into an email so for Jasmine to uh, email it out really the only thing she's left with at this point unless Google gets this email function working is to click share and uh, just grab the link and send it to people maybe create a, an animated GIF thumbnail which you can do and you can embed in your email in order to um, draw attention to the fact that it's a video but as far as actually embedding the, vi the video it's not really going to be possible to do that you're going to have to link out to it now there are ways to uh, grab embed code from somebody else's playlist that you want to share I'm not going to take the time in this video to walk through it uh, Google has a page where they tell you an alternate method for embedding a playlist and it's a hassle but you can do it I know you can what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link and I'm going to embed it in the description for this video um, again this was just a quick video to show you how to get a necessary thing done um, and also point attention to some of the frustrations that we we uh, encounter with uh, YouTube Google all of Google's properties as they develop new features at a breakneck pace um, what they do is really beyond breaking necks they break their interface and I seem it seems that they've done that in this particular case again my name is Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing and the Horizon Web Marketing Academy please subscribe give us a like on this video if you've made it this far I hope you will thank you very much I'll see you next time bye for now